from the bright lights of the Strip, the electric spine of a legendary town, Las Vegas, Nevada. It's Milan smash hits from the incomparable Caesars Palace along Las Vegas Boulevard. Legends of tennis coming together for our star-studded event to benefit the Elton John's AIDS Foundation. He's a pop culture icon. She's a tennis legend. Sir Elton John and Billie Jean King. 40 years of friendship, and today, for the 23rd time, they bring their shared love for music and sports together to benefit one very worthy cause. And with them, some of the greatest champions of the game. Andre Agassi, Andy Roddick, Stephanie Graf, Martina Navratilova, Lindsay Davenport, Tracy Austin, and others all looking to give back to a sport that has given to them. A charity tennis event for AIDS awareness and research comes to Caesars Palace, Las Vegas. It's Milan World Team Tennis Smash Hits, next. Caesars Palace in Las Vegas. What an absolute stunning sight for 2015 Milan World Team Tennis. Smash hits the 23rd edition. Team Billy Jean taking on Team Elton John. Hi everyone and welcome to the entertainment capital of the world. I'm Leif Shiras alongside a former world number one in Renee Stubbs and a veteran of smash hits in the past. And tonight the perfect marriage of tennis, charity, and music, all brought to us by Billie Jean King and Elton John, and also the best tennis players in the world, Renee. They're playing some serious tennis, and at times maybe not so serious, but it's all for a great cause. Well, I'd say it's more for a great cause, a lot of entertainment, and hopefully some great tennis from some of the greatest tennis players we've ever seen. And two of them happen to be residents right here in Las Vegas, in Stephanie Graf, and of course, the great Ladies Andre gentlemen, Agassi, who's a Las Vegas legend. Match. We've also got Martina Navratilova, James Mr. Blake, Brian Andy Roddick. Hicks. I mean, the list is so Brian long of great Hicks. champions tonight. Wonderful tennis and lots of fun. That's right, Andre and Steffi are Las Vegas royalty, as is Elton John. But these two teams are playing a real competition tonight. And you can see here are the lineups. This is the 23rd meeting. Now, Team Billie Jean has won 11. Team Elton John has won 11. And all these players are on the line tonight. Yeah, it's just unbelievable the amount of grand slams we have on that list with, of course, Lindsay Davenport and, of course, Andy Ruddick. But you know what's more impressive? The atmosphere here tonight. I mean, we're on the Las Vegas Strip playing tennis. And Andre Agassi mentioned that he never thought that he would ever see that day ever happen. Boy, and the crowds have really Ladies turned out for this amazing occasion in Nevada. I mean, this really has been a special evening. We're just getting started. Tracy Austin, Stephanie Graham, and Andre Agassi. And now, their opponents Let's hear it for Team Elton John, Martina Navratilova, Marty Fish, Lindsay Davenport, and Andy Roddick. Well, we've got five Hall of Famers. 54 Grand Slam titles and six world number ones. But in even they have to acknowledge our next two. She's won 39 Grand Slam singles, doubles, and mixed doubles titles. His Grand Slam victories include five Grammys, two Tonys, and an Oscar. She is the founder of the Billie Jean King Leadership Initiative, the Women's Tennis Association, the Women's Sports Foundation, and the co-founder of Milan World Team Tennis. He is the founder and chairman of the Elton John AIDS Foundation, which has raised more than $349 million worldwide to help defeat HIV and AIDS. Please welcome your host for the evening, longtime friends, Billy Jean King and Sir Elton John.
So tennis and music royalty make it to the court. It's hard to describe how big an occasion this is for them, but also how big an occasion is here in Las Vegas. I mean, they've really come out for this event. The crowd is remarkable tonight, but you really have a sense of the energy in this city. I mean, listen, Leif, I've played in a couple of these. I've done TV for this. This is the most amazing atmosphere. I mean, you could get a little bit giggly because it's, I just can't believe we're on the strip in Las Vegas playing a tennis match with all these great champions. Look at the list of people on the TV right now. Greatest champions of American tennis in particular. And we're going to see them all tonight. And of course, residents, Stephanie Graff and Andre Agassi. It's a remarkable night of tennis. Glad you could be with us. We wouldn't be here without Billie Jean King and Elton John. To see the, the lifelong friendship that's uh, happened between Billie Jean and Elton. I mean, they stand for, uh, one, they stand for uh, great causes. Uh, two, they stand up for the causes against what anyone else thinks of it. If they think it's the right thing to do, they're, uh, they're both feet in and, uh, you know, all systems go. Um, it's, it's such an easy attraction to see between the two of them. And now that, uh, to, to see this event in its 23rd year and how they've kind of combined forces and, and uh, kind of Billy's pulled him over uh, to our side in the tennis world. And, you know, he, he just loves the sport so much. And to see what they've been able to raise over the years for the Ellen John AIDS Foundation is, uh, is, uh, is really cool. And, and this event has become, uh, you know, as iconic as the two of them, which is, uh, it, it's been really cool to be a part of. Milan World Team Tennis Smash Hits is being brought to you by GEICO. At GEICO, you have a choice of ways you could save on car insurance. Call 1-800-947-AUTO, go online to GEICO.com, or stop by the GEICO office nearest you. By DecoTurf, official tennis court surface of World Team Tennis and the official surface of the U.S. Open since 1978. And by Caesars. And by Milan, seeing is believing. It was a reaction to peanuts. To shrimp. A bee sting. I'm always careful to avoid my allergen. But suddenly, I couldn't breathe. But I had it with me. And used it immediately. My EpiPen auto injector. EpiPen auto injectors are for the emergency treatment of life-threatening allergic reactions, anaphylaxis, and for people who are at increased risk for these reactions. EpiPen is intended for immediate administration as emergency supportive therapy only. Seek emergency medical treatment immediately after use. EpiPen is injected into the outer thigh. Do not inject into your vein, buttock, hands, or feet. Use with caution if you have heart disease or are taking medicines that cause heart-related symptoms. Side effects may include faster, irregular, or pounding heartbeat, sweating, nausea and vomiting, difficulty breathing, paleness, dizziness, weakness, or shakiness, headache, nervousness, or anxiety. If you have high blood pressure, overactive thyroid, Parkinson's disease, diabetes, or heart disease, these side effects may be more severe or last longer. I'll never forget that life experience. And I'll never forget to carry my EpiPen. Ask your healthcare professional about EpiPen. Pay as little as zero dollars. EpiPenSavings.com. Press the trauma unit five. What do we got? BP 64 reporting. Two units above that. Multiple foreign objects in the body. Cruisers. If you're the guy from the operation game, you get operated on. It's what you do. If you want to save 15% or more on car insurance, you switch to GEICO. It's what you do. Welcome back, everyone, to Las Vegas in the shadow of Caesar's Palace. In fact, on the grounds of this fabulous place as we get ready for just a little way to start it off, a little special tonight with some celebrity doubles. How about Stephanie Groff? and Andre Agassi taking on Martina Navratilova and Sir Elton John. What a matchup to get things started tonight. So now the third member of our team is Mark Knowles and he's a, a former World Team Tennis MVP, a former world number one, and he is with Billie Jean King. Mark. Well, we're joined by a very special guest, the one and only Billie Jean King, 23rd edition. How exciting is this on the strip in Las Vegas? I love it. I love to see Elton in the back there, Caesar's Palace sign, and because uh, he opens tomorrow night here. So this is terrific because uh, it's going to be a real Vegas event, and we've raised a lot of money all right in the already in the auction. So it's going to help the Elton John AIDS Foundation. Also, we leave money here locally, which I don't know. A lot of times people don't realize that. And we take some, and so it's world. In North America. 
And you talked about that. You change venues every year, but you have to be so excited with the turnout tonight because I've been a part of many of these events. This is the most electric crowd that I've seen. No, it's fantastic. And all the glitter and the lights of Vegas get you so pumped up. I mean, every place I look, I'm totally stoked. If you're a performer, which tennis players are, they just, they're all excited back there. We're all looking around and saying, oh, this is unbelievable. And, you know, Ellen and I were talking and saying, we're back there before we came out on court and saying, this is just great. Caesars has done a great job with the court and everybody and team tennis staff and, you know, uh, Milan. Milan's huge on access. We have the ph same philosophy on life, access for everybody. And, uh, it, you know, it just, it's when we all come together, but Milan's, Milan's really uh, responsible for, for raising the most money. So we really appreciate their commitment, not just involvement. Well, thanks for everything that you do, Billy. Back up to you guys. Hi, everybody at TC. <laughs> All right, thank you, Mark, and thank you, Billie Jean. Of course, the Aid for AIDS of Nevada is another recipient of funds, but Elton John and tennis, the whole AIDS push has been a, a real relationship of, of made in heaven. Tennis was one of the first sports, probably the first sports, to do something about AIDS with Arthur Ashe. And tennis players have always stepped up to the plate and been so generous, and other sports have followed suit, but it was the tennis players who did it first. And so this is the 23rd of them, and I get to go out and face tonight like 2,000 people um, and play tennis with uh, Martina against Andre and Stephanie Graf. And, you know, it's okay singing in front of people, but when <laughs> you're playing tennis in front of people, they go, oh my God, oh my God, I can do better than that. So it's, um, it's quite daunting. Well, Elton John has been such a big fan of tennis. And before the match, I was talking to him, and he said the first time I went out to tennis was the 1954 Wimbledon final. And I remember it vividly and said ever since then, he's been a huge fan of tennis. And he's been able to combine tennis and his support for the AIDS Foundation. It's been great for everyone. I got to tell you, I, uh, you know, Elton knows so much about so many tennis players. We were even having conversation before this started tonight. And he kept, you remember that American Ladies player, that doubles, and he was, welcome, none of us knew Elton the answer. John. And he's like, come on, you guys, you wouldn't be very good at Jeopardy. I mean, he is so loves tennis. And of course, Billie Jean, and we know the relationship that he and Billie Jean have, and it couldn't be any better. They are best of friends. This event is so special. Brian Hicks is the man in the chair tonight who's going to be uh, officiating the festivities. But we're just before we get started, they've selected to serve. And let's just remind you of the Milan World Team Tennis Smash Hits format. Two men, two women, one coach. Four sets of singles tonight. We'll just have men's singles, men's and women's doubles, and mixed doubles. Sets are to five games with a nine-point tiebreaker at four games all. And the home team coach selects the order of play. Now, World Team Tennis... The greatest thing about World Team Tennis through the years, and it's been Billy's vision over the years, is equality. Women and men contributing the same amount. And you see how much this means to the players. I mean, All Tracy right, Austin folks, sitting on the side of the court, they're taking photos because for every one of these players, this is a moment, I promise you, they will never forget. Playing on the strip in Vegas. So here's Martina Navratilova. She's got a few Grand Slam titles. 18 singles, 31 doubles. I like that Martina already told Elton yours. <laughs> I'm, are you surprised at all she went into the Stephanie Graf forehand? A little bit. One of the best forehands of all time. Well, talk about one of the great forehands. What about the greatest volleyer on the women's tour of all time in Martina Navratilova? And, and Andre's just testing it. Oh, Elton won at that point so badly. So did Martina. That leaf, as you and I both know, that's some nerves. Oh. I mean, players that are on the court right now, I mean, these are the some of the greatest players that have ever played. I mean, Martina and Steffi certainly would fall into that category on the women's side, but they, were, they are so nervous. Oh. 
Well, it's 1 2. Oh, they passed Elton John there. <laughs> Elton has the bandage on the left knee. I know that he, he's struggling with that a little bit. So it's 1 3. Break point. There you go. Let's hear it from our team. Look at Andre's not happy with his uh, partner, his bride's shot. Careful. Mixed doubles between mates. <laughs> now I'm sure, well, and Steffi's not happy with that last yeah, forehand. It's not too often that uh, Andre misses ground strokes. That's a big break of serve early. Now the celebrity match is just to get everything going, just to get the evening started. These games won't count to the final tally. Team Elton and Team Billie Jean. Stephanie Graf to serve. Let's hear it for Now, I think the question is, why is Steffi serving first? Because uh, Andre really should be serving first, but obviously, Stephanie's taken the pressure from him. That's a shot right there. Oh. Come on, baby. <laughs> now, imagine if we walked onto stage in Caesar's Palace to try and sing a song. Elton John out here playing tennis. A great effort to find a good shot under pressure. I'll say. Now that's, uh, this is a Las Vegas net, obviously. Graf, a resident of this fine city. Well, you know, technically for a little time Elton is now because he's uh, obviously starting his residency, residency yeah. tomorrow night. Decided, better go back to Elton. No, I'm not going to win this battle with Martina. And look at the fist pump. Oh, yes. Cool. Beautiful overhead from Stephanie Madison. <laughs> <laughs> Caesar Palace sign, Caesar's Palace sign behind the court. Three names we talk about as being the greatest of all time. It's Martina, Steffi, and Serena. Oh, how about that volley? That's one of the reasons. And of course, we have to throw Chris Evett in there. The amount of grand slams, the four of them have. Yep. Accumulated and accumulated in their career, and of course, Serena still trying to reach Stephanie Graf in the amount of Grand Slam titles. Right, One at 22. All right, now this is some pressure. So they get the break back. That was huge. All right. 
Let's put your hands together for Sir Elton John on this serve. Come and what do you on. think of this serve version, Leaf? Well, I think it's it's economical, and he gets it into play. That's what's important. Get the point started. What a home call. That's How been called in. <laughs> Agassi clearly not happy with that. Stephanie just gave uh, her husband kind of a dirty blow. Yeah, like how many times are you going to get passed down the line? No, she actually clapped. That's her in play. There's Martina cleaning it up at the net. She's pumped. Three one. Oh, Elton's trying to get the game already. He's Absolutely perfect evening shocker in the desert. <laughs> Three all, game point. So this is Deciding game. point, and Martinez said, well, maybe I should have taken that one up the middle. Deciding point. Stephanie Graf going to take it. Mrs. Agassi. Oh, yes. First serve. No. He made some noise. Wow. They're going to have to replay the point. Going <laughs> <Game, Tino. laughs> the wrong way, Andre. And we had a chance to talk with Elton John, who's big in Vegas, but he knows that Andre is really the man when it comes to being in Las Vegas. He's like the, the king of Las Vegas yeah. because his heart is here and he's given so much back to the city. So he's one great guy and he's helped us so many times before with Smashes. Yeah, he has. And it's great that we actually come to Vegas, which is his hometown. Also, I'm a great friend of the Killers and Brandon Flowers is one of my best friends. So there's music here that I, I know about. Um, and I, I'm on tomorrow night. And yes, I go open. from playing outside tonight to playing inside tomorrow. Um, so there you go. Well, he's got a lot on his schedule, doesn't he? Great entertainer. Just long, just a little yeah. out. Three, zero. Well, too good on that occasion for the pinball oh, wizard. Oh, oh. He <laughs> come up with that at the back. I mean, look at these two. Marty Fish on the right, of course, Andy Roddick on the left. I mean, they know how special this moment is as well, taking photos from the side of the court. to get his left hand, uh, backhand, forehand. He didn't quite know what side to take that on, but boy, did he try. And he's got the winner. 1-0 to 
female performers. I just love Elton's intensity as well. I mean, the nerves that he feels when he walks onto the tennis court must be nothing compared to what he does when he goes out onto the, to entertain here at Caesars Palace and through the years. That's something he's used to. Yes. Boy, these two are good up at the Hold net. Down, please. Where's Martinez? Now she's won all the singles, doubles, and mixed at every slam. Incredible. It's an incredible record, isn't it? Yours, baby. <laughs> Yours, baby. So we're into the nine-point tiebreaker, and it's now one-two. Check that. Love three is the drop shot counts for Martina. Oh, Helton's all over the place. Boy, they are just blitzing him here in the nine point tiebreaker. Remember, first side to five points. Look at Elton taking the volleys away from Martina Navratilova. Why not? <laughs> All right, he's got the match on his racket. Great shot. It's a good serve. Backed it up with a big forehand. The one-two combination from Elton. Yeah, and who beat Steffi Graf in a forehand to forehand rally? Not many people. All right, an excellent way to start off the evening. Team Elton John, well, are they... But did that just set the table for the team down the rest of the way tonight? We'll find out. So Elton John and Martina Navratilova take the celebrity doubles. Plenty more to come from Caesars Palace here in Smash Hits in Las Vegas. Keep up on your favorite sport at home, at work, or on the court with Tennis Tuesday, a free digital magazine available at TennisTuesday.net. Each week you'll get the latest news, analysis, and gossip from the Pro Tour, plus video instruction, gear reviews, and more on any device, anywhere. Sign up now at TennisTuesday.net. Well, the first smash hits went back to 1993 in Los Angeles with McEnroe, Connors, Geralditis, Chris Everett. And you can see over the years the many players who have been a part of it. This is the 23rd year of this fine evening of tennis to celebrate our great sport and to raise money for a great cause, the Elton John's AIDS Foundation. It's been such a successful vehicle, not only for our sport, but also for charity. Absolutely, Leif, and uh, you and I have been around tennis a long time, and it's always such a fun event every single year, and they raise so much money for the Elton John AIDS Foundation. Of course, now we've got men's doubles. Now, this will be an exciting affair because all four of these know each other very well. All right, well, let's go down courtside now to Mark Niles. Mark? Number one. Well, I'm joined by the one and only Sir Elton. Elton, I know you've played Andre a lot, but it seemed like you burned him up the line four or five times. I did tonight, yes. Um, he's always susceptible to that because he stands way into the net. And I remember years ago in Atlanta, I did that to him, but never to the success that I had tonight. I'm very happy about that. And you're playing with the greatest female tennis player of all time. Great volleyer, but you took over in the tiebreaker. Uh, well, it, it got better. I'm not the greatest volleyer, and I hate volleying, but I have, you know, she just tells me to get up there, and I, I'm not going to argue with her, you know. Elton stole my balls. He just took over. He's a man. He's a man. <laughs> and last year we had this event in London. Now 
in Las Go. Vegas. You're taking up your residency here tomorrow night. You've got to be pretty pleased with this crowd tonight. This is fantastic. It's a wonderful. And to be so close to the Strip, we're in the heart of Vegas. Couldn't be better. And you're going to see the, some of the greatest tennis players you've ever seen. And it's what a treat for these people. Well, thank you so much, Elton, for everything that you do for us. Great Appreciate it. Thank you. Yes, Elton John, the million dollar piano, starts his uh, run tomorrow night. And I know he's looking forward to that, but he was really looking forward to the tennis tonight. It's funny how he just has a great relationship with tennis and such a wonderful relationship with all the players and the players lounge that he just, hey, have you seen photos of my kids and checking in with everyone? It's really great to see. Yeah, truly. I mean, again, I played in this event a couple of times and uh, one time I went to an Elton John concert and he actually got tickets because he so remembers what players, tennis players do for the charity as well. And he actually said, Thanks for coming tonight, Renee. I mean, this is a guy who knows every player that's played in this event. He knows all the players. He's looks look at Lindsay's probably showing him her one of her four kid, children yep. right now. I mean, he is such a nice guy. Well, here's a guy with a pretty good serve. Andy Roddick, he's gonna tee it up. Well, he better against two of the biggest forehands we've ever seen in the game of men's tennis. I like our first graphic is that he's married to Brooklyn Decker. That's the best <laughs> result he's had. <laughs> we need to say plus child now. 12 day old son now, Hank. Isn't that a great name, Hank? Hank. And the reason why he named it Hank is because his dad's favorite athlete, Hank Aaron. Oh, that's Agassi. Vintage stuff from the Vegas. Man, wow. Look at the kicker from Andy and Andre says, oh, I got this one. Now we could technically call this the ball team against the hair team because if James took his hat off, you might see a little shiny head there as well. It's out. Nice little angle by A-Rod. Blake, who has always had some of the best wheels in the business, one of the great athletes to ever play our sport. Missed the follow-up wide. The topspin lob from Blake and the finishing touch by Agassi. Good luck. Now that's the foundation of a successful career, one of the best forehands in the business. Oh, that's a rarity. Oh, is that a little nerves, you think? New dad probably hasn't practiced that much. He was saying it's a different schedule for me these days. I haven't been out on the practice court as much as I would like. I'm uh, dealing with having another person around the house. Hmm. Oof. Whoa. That got through the court quickly. It's going to flow wide. So here is a deciding point. Well, some good help there from Marty Fish at the net. Of course, retired officially at the US Open this year, played a remarkable tournament. They had a tough loss to Felice Santa Lopez. It was up two sets to love playing on Louis Armstrong Stadium court and just couldn't close it down. It was a very hot day. It was very. All right, we're doing some signals. This is serious business. Marty has made the call for what he wants Andy to do with the serve. Oh. Oh. Team Billy Jean. Great serve, but not such a great First volley. Game. 
So good start for Billie Jean King and her side. Yeah, he got up before the ball got to him. Just mistimed it. All right, folks, put your hands together. James Erotic and Fish play doubles serve. in Atlanta. That was their last uh, run as a doubles pair. Got to the quarterfinals, and that was where it ended. This is a look at, oh, look at that, another distinguished visitor to no, Las Vegas, just, Mike Tyson. I mean, One zero. we're just seeing an all here tonight. One zero. <laughs> Who else are we going to see tonight? Uh, rather indiscreet allusion to sadly what happened to James Blake in New York. He said, I'll tackle you in a minute. <laughs> of course, again, these four are such good friends. Oh, Blake could not cover the open space. What an exchange. Cool. Safe to say, Leaf, that James and Marty and Andy all looked up to Andre Agassi growing up. Oh. Andre is a little older than the other three. Agassi right back at A-Rod. I'm not sure who's got the better backhand. Andre Agassi, Marty Fish. Marty, Marty Fish's Marty back Fish. is tremendous. Yeah. I was thinking about watching Marty hit those backhands, how amazingly good his backhand is. Yeah, it's just so easy for him. Of course, Blake, he was known to play a little bit of poker. Of course, now the dad of two girls. Oh, that's too good. Agassi cut that one in half. So Team Billie Jean have taken the two-love lead here in this set. I mean, look at that background. Caesars Palace in the background. And yeah, they laid down a wood base, and then the court was laid on top of that. And this is actually the valet parking lot, so this is very convenient. Of that slice business, Steffi said, "Yeah, my slice was pretty good back in the day." Yeah, you said convenient, not so much for the valet parkers. Though. What are they doing with their cars? Oh, hold long. Yep, Brian Hicks saying from the chair that, yep, it was out. You don't want to mess with Brian Hicks. He's a, actually an ice hockey official in the ECAC, so he does college hockey. He can deal with a few miscreants. Long time. Island World Team Tennis. Employee. Oh. Two, one. I don't know about you, Leaf, but there seems to be a little bit of panic on the side of Roddick and Fish when Andre Agassi has an easy forehand. I guess he's saying you would have regretted that into my forehand. Cool. You know, you watch Andre Agassi, and I, 
as he evolved as a player for a young player who was this brilliant shot maker, he just became so solid off both wings. Where do you put the ball when you play this guy? Eight Grand Slam titles later, I don't think anyone figured it out completely. Three, two. I think the one thing that Agassi ran into was Pete Sampras and the big serve. Took him out of his rhythm. Deciding point again. This is a big point and a big game, really, for Here we go, folks. Put your hands together. Roddick and Fish. This game. Here we go. Let's hear it. Oh, no. Trouble. Second serve. Oh, that's yeah. so good. That was a good first volley from Marty. That's right. So Elton John has a game on the board, and uh, Sir Elton is pumping his fist in the sidelines saying, come on, guys. And such beautiful images of the setting tonight. Not only this multicolored court, but obviously Caesar's Palace in the background, so majestic. I mean, we even have Paris. We got the Eiffel Tower in the background, too. This is going to be a big serve. Mark Knowles is with a very special guest. Mark? Well, guys, I'm joined by the one and only, the youngest heavyweight champion in the world ever, Iron Mike Tyson. Mike, great to see you out here. Tell us a little bit about your tennis knowledge. Well, I know about the game, but um, I'm not much of a player. I'm not good, no. I'm not that good at Three, I'm going to get my daughter the uh, tennis enthusiast, and she won the first tournament, and she's pretty gun-ho, and she's interested in going pro. This, I don't know. This is really great. It's cool. Well, there are a lot of great parallels between boxing and tennis, the one-on-one -on -one combat. What are your thoughts on that? That's true, but at least I could talk to my coach and say, hey, man, how my eye look, how am I doing out there? They, they can't talk to anybody. And I saw you quoted the great late Althea Gibson today on your Twitter page about winning and losing, so obviously you got to send some messages to your daughter. Yeah, she should she learn from experience. That's the best teacher. What's some of the great things that she does well already at a six -year, as a six-year-old? Um, she has a great form. She had a really good serve. So she's got that knockout oh. punch like her dad. Well, I don't know if that's the equivalent to knockout punch, but she's really, she's really competitive. Well, thanks a lot, Iron Mike. Good to see you out here. We look forward to seeing you again. Thank you. Thanks. That's right, Mark. Be nice to him. <laughs> yeah. Be yeah, nice to him. He's got a mean oh. right hook. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's his left. How interesting that his daughter's into tennis. That's so great to hear. She certainly have some great genes. Team All right, well, there's the game for Agassi and Blake. Team Billie Jean, 3 1 up in the opening Team match, the men's doubles. It's getting competitive. We're just getting started. It's all happening on the strip here in Las Vegas. Team Billie Jean, 3. Team Elton John, 1. the 23rd edition of Milan World Team Tennis Smash Hits. Leif Shiras alongside Renee Stubbs. Billie Jean King is in the house, of course. This is her baby. She created this great competition, this great organization that is so supportive of tennis. Of course, Elton John, her great friend, a big part of why we're here tonight. Volley. Zero, one. A classic volley at the net there. <laughs> Jinx play. Careful, he's missing it. It's coming right up here. I swear, I swear. Thank you, Paul. Andre's 
just warning the crowd to be very you, careful boy. of the serve that's coming at them. I'll get it, I'll get it. That's okay, you'll get it. I don't know if there's too many better trash talkers that have ever been in the game of tennis than Andre and Andy. Oh. And you know, James wasn't and isn't too bad about it either, because I've been around these guys and there's a lot of stuff that comes out of their mouth from the court to one another. That motion so defined Andy Roddick and changed the way a lot of players serve as well. He doesn't take the racket back. He goes straight up into the hit. And one, one, one of the greatest tennis shots in the history of our game. And Andre was saying that wasn't one of the greatest shots. Well, he doesn't agree with the call. So is she. Nice step out on the forehand volley. Yes, sir. <laughs> I guess he's bumped up. Andre said, You serve so much harder on TV. Oh, take that, bro. <laughs> hey. Hey. Go down there. Go down there. Well, Andre, I can see such way. a big part of tonight, and here's what he had to say Almost about down. tonight and the occasion. For me, it's about everybody enjoying it. You know, the highest, the biggest stress for me is just hoping that it's a great evening for everybody. Everybody has a good time. I think all the players share that in common. You know, we're yeah. we're here under we're different here terms. For the right court, you know, we for definitely the right want course. it to be, you know, some competitive tennis, some good tennis, but we also want to be able to do it just well enough to create some nostalgia, you know, inspire hopefully a few young kids. And that's what I love about what Billy and Elton have done. They've taken this around to all these communities that don't necessarily get to see this up close and personal. And so to see it right here is, uh, it'll be fun for it all to pay off for everything. It's a, it's a good point from Andre because Billie Jean Jean does take smash hits all across the U.S. and not to cities where there's just tennis events. Yeah, and so much of the money goes back into the local communities here. The money stays in Vegas and then they use some of the money that is raised here for, for the foundation, but a lot of it stays here in Las Vegas. So it is so meaningful for Andre in particular this year. made that young man's day. Yeah, that, Andre probably should have got that volley too. Saying to his partner, sorry buddy, I probably was a little too asleep there at the net. Oh, that's a sweet combination. As good as Marty Fish is on the two-hander, even he couldn't pull that cross-court far enough. Oh, and again, Andre really being aggressive at the net. 
nice to see Blake and Agassi playing alongside each other. Remember the U.S. Open match they played back in 2005, the quarterfinal match that was one of the great matches of all time. Oh, play the lets, boys. And it was in. So in World Team Tennis rules, you play the let. And another deciding point here. Baseline. Well, all of a sudden you know that no matter what, what is going on tonight, these guys are very competitive, so nobody wants to lose this set. So a break of serve to get team Billy Jean back on even terms. Let's in play. Oh, that's never a good time for the let to be in play. <laughs> for the server. Wow. Just sitting up there absolutely perfect for James Blake. You know, I, I think James Blake might have hit his forehand harder than Agassi. Yeah, Would I was you agree? E equivalent, if yeah. not bigger. Oh, that's a, what a shot that was. I mean, this, Marty Fisher's out wide flat serve is truly one of the greats of all time, in my opinion. Oh, took it right at JB. It's Marty Fish, former top tenor. Of course, uh, he really reached his best results, his greatest physical fitness. He set back with some anxiety disorder that he's handled so well and so professionally. Agassi up at the net. Yeah, Marty wrote a great piece in the Players' Tribune called The Weight, talking about you know, the mental problems he faced that really forced him out of the game, although he did return to play his final U.S. Open here. But it was a wonderful story, and I think it had uh, brought to light a lot of the issues that he faced in his life, and something that he wants to put out there in the open so people can get a better understanding of it. Yeah, he talked about it even before this match with a lot of a lot of the players that we have tonight that he hasn't seen for a while. What a shot from Fish. In particular, he was talking about it a lot with Andre, just kind of giving him a little bit of background on how he's doing, and Andre was very concerned and say, how are you doing now, and how's it being retired? It was really nice to see them have that moment together. That's uh, three straight games for Fish. And you know, one of the things that Marty said yeah, that was that he, a lot of tennis players struggle. And look at the view. I mean, it's an unbelievable atmosphere again tonight. But one of the things that some players struggle with is how to retire, when to retire. Do they feel good about retirement? And he said, I don't know what it was, but that moment at the US Open that I had this year, to be able to retire on that moment, I really feel good about my decision. And so that's a really nice thing to hear coming from Marty Fish. Thank you, ladies ready. Uh, Andre Agassi has been such an inspiration for these guys on court and off. Obviously, his uh, philanthropic efforts Acknowledged by the ATP with the Arthur Ashe Humanitarian Award in 95. Oh, there's the two-hander for Fish. He's got so many options. Well, watch the flick of the wrist at the last second here with the left hand from Marty Fish to get the angle on that volley. Beautiful shot. And you 
heard the chant from the crowd, Andre, Andre, because they love him here for so many reasons, obviously born and raised, but also how much has he done for the community of Las Vegas with his charter school. Andre Agassi Foundation. Cool. Here you go, folks. Your help brought, brought back. And the Agassi Foundation really inspired Andy Roddick to start his own foundation. James Blake, his foundation. And Marty Fish has his country music foundation that he started in conjunction with tennis and, and music in Florida. There you go. Yeah, again, I said that these three players, Blake, Roddick, Fish, all look up to and all looked up to Andre Eriksi, but that is the biggest contribution you would have to think. All the money that the four of these players have given back to their local community is quite incredible. Three all. Game point, receiver's choice. Yeah, again, right, Andy Roddick has made Let's Marty Fish take Come the return on. here. The, choose, the returner happen? gets to choose. So some pressure on the Vegas native, That's Andre Agassi. Match point. I don't know what it means, but I agree. Excuse me, set point. They break Agassi and they take the opening set. They were down 1 3. Roddick and Fish managed to win the last four games. <laughs> Let's hear it, folks, for our players. Our men's doubles. So 5 3 for Team Billie Jean King after the men's doubles. But don't go anywhere. Smash hits continues and it's women's doubles when we come back. We've got a few players on court. You might recognize the names. barbecue trophies, best cracked pepper sauce, most ribs eaten while calf roping. <laughs> yep, greatness deserves recognition. You got any trophies, cowboy? Uh, yeah, well, uh, well, there's this one. Best insurance mobile app? Yeah, two years in a row. Well, I'll be. Does that thing just follow you around? Like a little puppy. The award-winning Geico app. Download it today. For billions of years, I have been lying in the dark, waiting for this moment. Time has forged my character to be strong and pure. While I waited to be discovered and selected amongst hundreds, me, Finally, my true beauty has been brought to light. And after a long journey, I am here to light up her smile forever. Forever Mark, a diamond is forever. Find your design at forevermark.com. All right, welcome back everyone to Caesars Palace. Milan World Team Tennis and Smash Hits, and we've got women's doubles up next on the schedule. Boy, some fabulous names, memorable games, and a chance to go down courtside with Mark Knowles. Well, guys, I'm joined by two superstars here. Andy, not often you get broken in the first game. How'd you turn it around? Uh, I have a good partner. I choose well. Um, as long as I don't have to do anything at the net, I feel fine. Unfortunately, doubles makes me do stuff at the net sometimes. 
And Marty, it seemed like James would know your game a little bit better than have Andre serve to your backhand under pressure. Usually, that doesn't end well for the opponent. No, that was a bad decision. Andre, it's amazing how well Andre hits the ball, by the way. Unbelievable. I, I haven't hit with him since 2004. I haven't seen him in a long time. I think he hits the ball better than now that he did that. And we saw that patented two-handed backhand angle. What do you hit better, that shot or the 340 drive down the middle on the first tee? Right now, the drive. Put your hands right. together. Yeah, great. And welcome now, Andy, of course, new dimension for you. Hank is now here. Is he going to play tennis, football, basketball? What's he going to play? Oh, I don't know. We're just happy to uh, have a healthy baby at home. Brooks just been such a rock star through the first uh, first 12 days, and uh, we couldn't be happier. And Andy, you meant so much to this event. How special is it to play here in Vegas? Obviously, Elton in residency here. What an electric crowd here tonight. Yeah, it's great. Uh, you know, you, you don't get a lot of new things in tennis. We're pretty jaded and pretty blessed. Uh, to play in the middle of the Las Vegas Strip, I mean, that's just it's just cool. And Marty, just retired from the tour, playing with your good buddy here on the Strip. It's got to be pretty surreal. This is cool. I took, I was sitting there during the first match or first set, and I took like six pictures just all around. This is one of the, honestly one of the coolest venues that we've played in. We've, we've seen a lot of stuff. We're pretty, like you said, we're pretty jaded with the, you know, nothing really seems really cool when we where we play, but this is this is really pretty cool. Well, thanks guys. Good luck the rest of the way. Back up to you, boys. All right, thanks, Mark. And Mark's uh, always called me a boy. Yeah. To Lindsay you know, uh, Caesar's Palace has been such a big part of the tennis scene in Vegas over the years. And it all started with the Allen King Classic back in 1972, and that had a long, successful run. Some of the biggest and best names on the men's side played it. We've had Davis Cup here. I remember the U.S. Sweden was a good one. The Connors Navratilova was called the Battle of Champions. It was sort of a follow-up to the Battle of the Sexes. Remember, Martina was given half the alley, and Connors ended up still winning it, but it was a great match. That was in 92. And Jimmy had a number of challenge matches, Laver, Nuka, Morantes, Nastasi. And uh, Connors was the one defending his position. All these guys tried to take him on. It was such a great setting here in Vegas. Yeah, I mean, after what I've witnessed tonight and certainly in the past, Please, let's bring tennis back here to Vegas in some way because the electricity tonight here at Caesars Palace has been unbelievable. And I will say, Leaf, through the years, there's been Fed Cup here matches in go. Las Vegas. We've had some really wonderful Lee tennis Donald throughout the years here. Yeah, I think it was a U.S. Spain that was in Vegas. But uh, again, the Caesars the Palace has been a real uh, sort of a standard bearer for Stephanie tennis in this area particularly along the strip. So here's Stephanie Graff. She's alongside Tracy Austin. Ah. Now you give Martinez some chances up in the net, she can finish. I tell you what, there's not too many uh, pure strikers of the ball. You see married to Andre Agassi with two children, Jaden and Jazz. I think they're 14 and 12 now. Jaden, yep, they'll, uh, they're turning that this month. Proud parents. Ow. Do not play tennis, though. Jaden's a very good baseball player, and Jazzy's a All pretty right, good hip-hop dancer. Wow. Let's get some support here for seven, Four Hall of Famers, four world ah. number ones. Ah. Nicely done. Yeah, believe it or not, the last Grand Slam final that Stephanie Groff ever played against was the one Wimbledon title that Lindsay Davenport won in 1999. Yeah. So uh, there's some history here. Of course, Stephanie had beaten Martina at Wimbledon. Martina had beaten Steffi at Wimbledon through the years. <laughs> and of course, Tracy Austin. How could you forget Tracy's run? US Open, US Open champion, former world number one. One of the sweetest human beings you could ever meet. Steffi wanted that ace badly. That's 
too good. What's interesting is when uh, Andre Agassi won his first major title, that was in Wimbledon, 1992. Steffi Groff won the singles there. And when Agassi won Roland Garros in 99 to clinch his career Grand Slam, that was Steffi's last major victory. So there is a certain symmetry to their relationship that really fits perfectly, doesn't it? Yeah, it's truly one of the greatest uh, sort of sports stories, isn't it? That two of the greatest tennis players of all time married each other. So different with their personalities as well, but uh, they're all about the now. Both of them. And now a deciding point, Lindsay Davenport to take the return. the 1999 Wimbledon final there. Those two trading forehands, of course. In the end on that day, it was Lindsay who was a little bit better. Lindsay didn't lose a set for that win. in that Wimbledon that year. Pretty impressive. Anyways, she lost that game. And I think she may have won the doubles Lindsay that year as well. I can remember correctly. Yeah, I think that's Karina right. Karina Mararia. Yes. Tracy Austin. Is that the first ball Tracy's hit? Yeah. <laughs> She's been a spectator the first game. Zero one. The one thing I can guarantee you about Tracy Austin is that she will not miss a return in this match. Former world number one, couple major titles, US Open. One serve, Lindsay. Some pressure on here, Tracy. Don't miss a return, please. She tried to thread the needle, had the angle right, but the length was just a little too good. She was excited about the possibility of hitting a nice shot. Especially past Martina at the net. Play the lets. Game, one one. Game ball. That's a good Play service ball. game from LD. Down that way, down that way. But a lot Lindsay of was always blessed with a strong serve and just the greatest ground strokes. So she never seemed to hit outside of the center of the strings. Okay, Listen, folks, I played with Lindsay in the straight over last year in the, in the Legends more. event they have down there. She shanked a forehand and looked at me and she was dead serious. She said, I don't think I've done that ever. <laughs> <laughs> Every ball is in the middle of the racket. There's a little more pressure on her now, but maybe she's not playing quite as much as she was back then. Look at that. Just jumps off the strings. She has four children, Leaf. <laughs> Who has time to do anything when you have four children? Of course, one of the great commentators as well for Tennis Channel. little angle there. All right, folks, well, let's hear it. Of course, the Austin family was so special because they were so talented right down the line, just one of the four who played professional tennis. She wanna, did well in mixed as well with mixed, her brother. That's right, mixed doubles, Wimbledon title. John. Oh, it's in. <laughs> And Tracy's happy about that, ecstatic even. One, two. Able to handle it. Good use of the net there. She does. 
was. Someone <laughs> said, kill that. Uh, that was Andre. Interesting to note, you know, I always thought Martina Hingis was the most precocious talent, but Trace actually holds the record for the youngest title holder on the WTA at 14 years of age. Pretty amazing. She went in Portland in 1977 at 14 years, 28 days old. And weighing no more than about 65 pounds probably at the time. And never oh, missed a ball from the center of her straight leg like Lindsay. Yeah. Boy, that, that's a good shot from Martina. Right, a little hook forehead. Put your hands together. Martina down the So Team Elton John. Break a serve. One more time. the law but she still hasn't oh, missed a return <laughs> rock solid she had some great matches against Navrat and Lova oh, oh yeah oh hand-to-hand -hand combat and Tracy got the best of that I think Lindsay got the worst of it Lindsay hit that ball underneath her armpit <laughs> you will hit shot Watch this on the replay. Yep, right in the armpit. There it is. <laughs> Tracy with a tremendous get there. Great effort from Tracy Austin. Come on, let's hear it. Oh, Martina said, I've seen that before. Has she ever? What an unbelievable backhand return sliced. <laughs> Getting Martina on the run. Watch that. Boom. Martina gets it back, of course, but then Steffi with the forehand. I always like how she brought that the ball was really you, deep in you, the pocket. And you couldn't read where she was going with it. Oh, oh Stephanie. Great Boy, what a chance that was. You hear, you hear Billy Excellent. on the side of the court? Great play. Mentally strong. Mentally strong. <laughs> <laughs> Billy loves this. Oh. Now who's going to take the return here? Because I know Tracy's not going to miss it. All right, Stephanie's taking it. Lova is rock solid at the net. She takes the deciding Team point. Three games to one. Team Second Elton set. John takes the All game. Right, they take a 3 1 lead. There. 90 seconds for TV. Welcome back, everyone. Women's doubles in the smash hits here in Vegas. Steffi Groff, Tracy Austin are down a break, 3-1. Martina Navratilova has been doing a great job up at the net. Not surprised. Of course, Lindsay's been giving her some opportunities with these wonderful ground strokes. And Lindsay's ball is so heavy, Leaf. It's just 
comes from that trajectory because of her height and goes down, it's flat. Similar to Steffi's in a lot of way because Stephanie's forehand would really shoot through the court flat as well with not a lot of spin. There's a nice play. Uh, that team were right there. That's right, Billy. <laughs> Don't let it go through the middle, everybody at home. hitting again. I mean, Lindsay's ball is so heavy and powerful, and Stephanie has that ability to be able to hook that forehand cross court still. Such a great era in women's tennis when Roth, Davenport, Serena and Venus, obviously. Kim Kleister is just wow. in. I mean, it was loaded in the top ten. Yeah, as yes, Stephanie was retiring and Lindsay was taking over, that's when you started seeing, and look at Stephanie Hingis was starting to come in. Second most of all time, just behind Margaret Court, who won 24. Oh, is it in? Yes, it was. Right on the line. One of the best points of the night. Everyone had a hand in that one. Great tennis all the way around. They get it on Steffi Graf's serve. You know, interesting to note about Steffi, her first pro event, she played in Stuttgart as a 13-year-old, and she played Tracy Austin. Unbelievable. And lost her first pro match to her partner tonight. So they've got a history. So Steffi did get revenge the next time they played. Of course, Graf was a little older, a little wiser. Tracy missed a return. <laughs> Tina is so good up there. Not afraid to step out into the middle. Well, get it's just, it, it's just it understanding angles, as you know, Leif. And there's some players that read angles and not many do. And Lindsay Davenport, daughter of Wink Davenport. Two, one. Some pretty good genes in the Davenport family as well. And her, yeah. her husband, John Leach, is brother of Rick Leach was a great player in his own right. Rick Leach, former world number one in doubles. Cool. Their yeah, father was John the... played college tennis at USC. And dad was a longtime coach. And I'm pretty sure I ball boyed for Dick Leach in Milwaukee at the US <laughs> National Clay Courts at the Town Club. Uh-oh, Lindsay's bringing the heat. Big serve from Lindsay. She must have been watching Andy Roddick serve a little earlier. 3-2. Game point. Yes. Too strong. Navratilova means business up there in the center of the court. Now remember, just to remind you, 23rd edition of Smash Hits. Team Elton has won 11. Team Billie Jean has won 11. So this is a bit of a tiebreaker. Bragging rights for the next year. There's also some pretty good genes in the Austin family. Of course, we talked about her brother. And, but her son won the US Open Junior Boys Doubles this year. Yeah, just recently won a Futures title at my club down Laguna Niguel, the racket club there. So he's making some moves. Of course, he'll be a freshman at USC next year, playing alongside Peter Smith's son, coach of the team. 
She was a proud mom following the fortunes of her son. Youngest inductee into the Hall of Fame. Of course, all four of these players have a place there. One, two. Oh, that would have been really nice if it had gone in the surface box. Geico timeout uh -oh. called by Billie Jean trying to ice the team of Navratilova and Davenport. She means business here. She wants to try and, uh, you know, find a way back. I think Billie Jean is icing the kicker. I'm trying. Martina Navratilova right here, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. This is very strategic right here. Okay, so the Geico timeout, we'll see if it has any impact. Billy Jean King, what they talk about? A little better serve there, maybe? Yeah, Stephanie said, you got a tip? And Tracy answered it and said, how about a better serve? <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of experience on this court. <laughs> Tracy's asking for Andy's serve. Fine. Go wide, go wide, Tracy. Thanks, ball boy. It seems that we have a substitute. Now, substitute now. They just don't feel never out to what was been up to par. <laughs> and Stephanie's decided to serve, not Tracy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well done. Wow. Great effort. Let's hear it, folks. Put your hands together. Now she is. That youngster had uh, a moment into the bright lights here at Caesars Palace. That had to feel good. It certainly did. And you, you think back on the YouTube video of One, Andre three. Agassi playing with Jimmy Connors. And Jimmy, Andy was about, uh, excuse me, Andre was about that same age. Game, second set, Team Ellen. Five wow, Lindsay Davenport and Martina Navratilova. Tennis can be cruel, and they picked on Graf and Austin. Boy, that's a couple of Hall of Famers taking it to a couple of Hall of Famers. So, 5-2, and it's now 10-5. Every game goes towards the final score. Let's go down to Mark well, Knowles. Guys, I'm joined by the winning team. That was pretty deadly. You guys didn't really give him a chance to breathe. Yeah, I'm so happy to play with Lindsay. I always play against her. This is the first time we played together, and I'm so happy. I want to play with her again. It was awesome. Well, Lindsay, the combination of your clean ball striking and Martina at the net, they really had no chance. Yeah, I guess. You never know what to expect. None of us play that much, but uh, it's true. I've never played with her, so I had a little nerves there to try and play well. But uh, And there's a lot of pressure coming from our captain, Mr. John. So so we all wanted to play well. Yeah, Team Elton, he's made it clear that he wants to have bragging rights for a year. So you guys feel that. I don't know who is more competitive, Billie Jean King or Elton John. And that's saying something. He really wants to win. But also for me, it was great to be on the court with uh, with Tracy and, of course, Steffi, who I you know, played so many matches again. So it's a treat to be here, but great, uh, great way to raise money. And Elton, as, as competitive as it gets. Well, great playing, ladies. Two Hall of Famers against two other Hall of Famers. Have a great night. Back to you guys. All right, well, it's a very special evening, and this is really what the night is for. A donation to the Elton John AIDS Foundation, something that uh, everyone sees as a very positive thing. That's why we're all here tonight, a celebration of our sport for a great cause. Mixed Doubles is coming up next.
Keep up on your favorite sport at home, at work, or on the court with Tennis Tuesday, a free digital magazine available at TennisTuesday.net. Each week, you'll get the latest news, analysis, and gossip from the Pro Tour, plus video instruction, gear reviews, and more on any device, anywhere. Sign up now at TennisTuesday.net. El Caesars Palace has been our wonderful host tonight for Milan Smash Hits. We're actually in the valet parking lot, which is right out in front of this magnificent facility. So much to offer in so many ways for all the guests who come to Las Vegas, the entertainment capital of the world. And tonight it's Milan Smash Hits. Lee Shiras along with Ray Stubbs. Glad you be with us as it's time for some mixed doubles. Familiar names, familiar faces once again. And Stephanie Graff is alongside her husband. And I think we're going to probably have to initiate the discussion, Renee, about just how well, is it wise to play with your wife when you're playing mixed doubles? Obviously, we'll get into that as the match unfolds. Marty Fish is going to play alongside Who are you Martina Navratilova. All right. are you what ready? kind of suggestions do you have for Who's mixed doubles? Do you think Billy that husbands G. and wives should Let's play mixed it. doubles? Or is it too... Uh, too much pressure. All right. I think with these two that they've achieved enough in their life to leave to not worry too much about this uh, match right here. But one of the things that they'll both be trying to do is enjoy the moment, including enjoy it together, because this is a pretty special moment, Leaf. Even for us sitting up here and watching this, you know, we're seeing two of the greatest players in Graf and Agassi who happen to be married, have a couple kids. They live here in Vegas. They're going to enjoy this moment. And of course, Martina Navratilova, one of the greatest players of all time, singles, doubles, and mixed. And then Marty Fish, who just retired at the US Open. And what a story for him to be on the court with these three legends. I, I would say that Marty's going to be a little nervous coming out of this set, wanting to play well for Martina and with Martina. Yeah, Martina is very competitive. She likes to win, as does everyone on this court. They want to play well. And you said you heard her after playing so well with Lindsay. She said, I'm so happy to play alongside her because she's tough and learn what she can do for me. Set me up, but I'm sure Marty will do the same. Oh, what a return. Oh, yeah. Marty's going to realize he can't serve too many serves to the forehand of Brunt. As, as you see, Stephanie's on the forehand side in this particular set. Oh. What a... I hope we get another look at uh, Stephanie Graf's forehand, the way the ball gets into that pocket and she just can turn it any direction. Oh! One, two. <laughs> Let's see for there you go. That, that answers your question. As long as she hits a great shot, I guess that's what that's how it works. Oh, Agassiz sharp. A good first step to cover the shot out wide. I think he anticipated this. Watch how quickly he moved to his left. Boy, these players have so much talent. Oh, Stephanie Good missed that one. Wanted that one badly. Now it's left it up to Hubby. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Game, the dream. First game, third set. <laughs> Oh, yeah, there you go. So I think you need to reward each other. Your mates, when you do something good, a little kiss, a little I mean, acknowledgement. You, I mean, that shot was ridiculous. Watch this on the half volley on the back end. Whoop. Oh, even Steffi's like, are you kidding? This is where it really counts. Marty's One, under some pressure because he's not usually on the forehand side. He's usually on that backhand side, but Martina, she likes that backhand side as well, the second court. Hey, 
Billy saying, way to stand your ground. Great volleys. Take that. I mean, it's incredible Ooh. the pace these guys can produce and then deal with the pace coming at them. Amazing. How do you find that on the forehand side? You know, rackets on the backhand. What a move from Fish. Incredible. Oh, yeah, Andy's looking at Marty as to say. Right here. If you're a fan yeah, of buddy. Team Billy Jean, this is it. Maybe not uh -oh. that shot. Let's hear it. A little trash talking from the side of the court. <laughs> Stephanie's reaction. Oh, again, the forehand. Now, can I just say that uh, the music that's going on, we're used to the music in Team Tennis, correct? Well, Team Tennis always has the music playing. But there's a nightclub about to about 60 feet away at Caesars here. Oh. Two. And yes, most of them have that. a good view onto the court, so they can actually see some of the action from over there. They do. The people at the Omnia here at the Caesars Palace enjoying themselves. So is Andre. It is. Pretty good view up there, Leaf. Yeah, the Omni is sounding like it's happening, but really it's happening out here. Now I'm wondering, do we can we get in the VIP <laughs> section up there? I hope so. <laughs> oh, what a pickup from Martina cool. Navratilova. Look at Mar Marty's like, uh, Right, that was pretty good. Fans, where are you? Yeah, I played mixed doubles in Wimbledon, I want to say, three or four times. I lost to Martina Navratilova three or four times. I always seem to find her in the mixed doubles draw. Yeah, not a good draw. No. She could just volley and return of a storm, particularly on grass. The ball slid right into her racket, and she was nine Wimbledon titles. Incredible. Three, two. So nice recovery by Navratilova and Fish here to get up 3-2. Try and get on the board okay, here at the start of the event. Fans, here we go. 3-2. Ah! <laughs> it is all Big gone. Point. What was that? Big point here. Gender to gender. Not gender to gender. World Team this Tennis, so Martina will serve to Stephanie Graff. Well, important moment for Team Elton John to get on the board as we uh, you can hear another of Elton John's amazing songs. I mean, his songbook is so deep, so varied. And, uh, and, and, and for someone who is a little bit older now, he gives the most unbelievable concert for hours. Man, we've got Hall of Famers on the tennis court. He's a rock and roll Hall of Famer. Maybe the one 
time they miscommunicated yeah, from on the court who was going to cover that shot. Stephanie probably thought hubby should have put it away. Maybe, oh, it's okay, honey. <laughs> Zero two. Uh, good move there from Andre. Well, 1988 was the year for Stephanie Graf, wasn't it? A calendar year slam, but also. Olympic gold, so she got the golden slam. Oh yes, Agassi's got the hands there. It was a nice move from Marty. Now I had the pleasure of watching Stephanie play so many matches through the years and her competitiveness and her ability to play such a high level in the most Difficult of moments under pressure. So Such a cool. wonderful athlete as well. Unbelievable. She moved athlete. so well on the tennis court. Oh. Yeah, I don't think there's been many, or there could be any player that had better footwork in the history of tennis than Stephanie Graf. Feet never stop moving. <laughs> Come on, folks, let's hear it for them. Um... Well, Agassi finished the point, but it was Steffi who built the point so nicely. Watch the footwork, the strike zone on the forehand. I mean, the footwork, though, watch it, never stops moving. She's like, yeah, that's the way. Finish that point for me. <laughs> Martina tried to sneak that up Agassi's line. Double A was moving to the middle. Let's see what happens on the second serve. Oh, too good with the slice from Stephanie Groff. Let's hear it for Team Billy Jean. So Team Billy Jean now leads 3-1 in this set. Yeah, and a huge set it is. You can see the match score now, 11-8 for Team Elton John. It's not over yet. We've still got the mixed doubles, and we'll end the night with men's singles, but this one isn't over yet. Back in Caesars Palace, and it's Marty Fish serving at 1-3. One, 1-0. Three. One, well, you see the kicker there from Marty Fish. That's a difficult one for Graf on the backhand side to handle. Whoa. Two, zero. Marty has such an easy motion on his serve. Generates so much power. It's also cool about tonight is Andre Agassi, uh, I should say Andy Roddick, James Blake. Oh my goodness. Oh, and Marty Fish, uh, a reason why the U.S. won the Davis Cup in 2007. You know, they're the last squad really to get it done. And you hope that the U.S. side now can have the same kind of success. But those guys all instrumental in bringing home the last Davis Cup. Yeah, I mean, what a team. Blake and Roddick in Portland beating Russia, along with the Bryan brothers. Marty did play cool. matches that season, but didn't play in the championship match. Oh, Steffi's grooving to Michael Jackson down this end. Now she's watched a lot of dance programs with daughter Jazz, so.
My good hands all. there. Yeah, Jazz was part of a, the, one of the Las Here Vegas teams. The Las Vegas team that made the semifinal of the World Championship Hip Hop Wow. Races. So, I mean, this is a talented family we're seeing here. Wait, please. Thank you, Lennifer. Yep. It's not very surprising when you've got these <laughs> two huge talents. Deciding point on the fish serve. Oh, now there's pressure. Yeah, that's uh, that's a true statement if I've ever heard it. I mean, Agassi was again rock solid off both sides, compact in his preparation. He could just rocket it off both wings. I mean, you, you've obviously seen Djokovic play now at Rafael Nadal, Roger Federer. Where where do you put Andre's return of serve? Yeah, I, Jimmy Connors. Top five, definitely top five. I think Djokovic probably gets more balls back into play on bigger servers, but in terms of contact and pressure and aggressiveness, Agassi might have been the best because he was an aggressive returner. Yeah, his mindset, like you said, isn't it wasn't necessarily to make every return like Novak's is now. Yeah. He plays a little bit more defensively, but like you said, Andre just gives you feel so much pressure on on the serve. Nicely done. Yeah, and lastly about that, I mean, Agassi couldn't quite defend the entire service court. You know, something Djokovic does so well. Unbelievable. Well, his flexibility. Yeah. Djokovic is unbelievable. Oh, Marty will remember winning that rally. Forehand to forehand with Andre Agassi. Yeah, I feel pretty good about that. Father to Beckett. A son. Oh, that's a body oh, shot. Three. I don't think you get two points for that, but I think Agassi felt that one. <laughs> Let's take a look at look how close Andre is to the net. Uh, and when you're that close, sometimes <laughs> you pay the ultimate <laughs> kidney shot. Is that where the kidney is? Two, three. It's in there somewhere, I think. I did stay at a Holiday Inn Express <laughs> last night. You're feeling pretty good, right? <laughs> I thought you were staying at Caesars. Uh, oh, well. Yeah, I, I got upgraded. Pressure on the second serve now. Oh, Andre, what was that? Did you notice that there wasn't a kiss after that point from Stephanie? <laughs> well, these are the intricacies of right, playing with your mate. <laughs> Agassi is broken. Navratilova has got second life. Just wide. Important for the Agassi Graf preparing to win this game, though, to keep the score a little tight going into the men's singles. That's the first volley I think she's missed tonight. I was I thought you were gonna say since 82. <laughs> I do remember 1983. <laughs> she 86 and one. She had the one loss. Oh, almost, Andre, Whoa. almost. An amazing thing about that year, she only lost eight sets. Put your hands together. Who did she lose to that year? Kathleen Horvath at Rolling Girls. I hope Kathleen Horvath is watching right <laughs> I now. I hope so, too. She was my mixed doubles partner at the U.S. Open. Got to the semis there. That was big. She oh, carried me. I was going to say, so why why the loss if she was that good? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I think she did well getting me to the semis. <laughs> Here's a, a chance for Agassi. Oh, oh, payback. Did it hit him? One, three. It was in. 
All right, folks. So these are set if points. Martinez not happy fan, about the call. This is it right Agassi here. and Agassi. Or Agassi, Agassi and Groff, right if you're so inclined. Now. Although Mar Martinez not very happy with that last call. No, Martina. I think on. Martina needs to give her glasses. Oh, well, no, he's got glasses on, so not out. happy. Inside the line is in. Oh, so now Two, three. pressure on Hubby again to make a good return here. 2 3, set point. Yeah, um, Martina's best serve goes right into the Agassi two hander, though. Oh! She went to the forehead. Agassi wow. ripped it. All right, here it is. Put your hands together. And Marty it Fish, a game saving volley. Right from gender to gender. A body saving volley. Still set point. Oh, look at Steffi looking for the forehand. Trust me, she's moving to the left here. It was a good serve from that Ratzalova. Steffi Groff got over to it and set up her husband. Andre Agassi finishes it off 5-2. That was an impressive set. The first one that Team Billie Jean King has won tonight. And it shrinks the deficit down to 12-10 in the match score. So it's going to come down to the final event, the men's single. So that'll be a good one. But before we get to that, I think we're going to try and get a word with the husband and wife and the success they had. Mark Knowles is down courtside. Let's see if he can uh, grab them. I know they're busy getting things in order. Go ahead, Mark. Well, guys, I'm joined by Andre Agassi and his lovely wife, Stephanie. Andre, a big win there. You guys needed to win that set to get back in, and how'd you do it? You know what? I, I, I did the best thing you can possibly do. I chose my partner well. Uh, no, she came through, and I made a few good shots at the right time. These sets get away in a hurry, but uh, there's some good shots out there. We had, it was a fun set. And Stephanie, we all want to know how a husband and wife play mixed doubles together. It seemed like when Andre hit a good shot, there was a kiss. When he missed, maybe turn the other direction. Is that the key? Oh, no, no, no. We're, we're having a blast out here. It's been fun. You rarely get a chance nowadays to be on the court, and what an incredible setting this is. And then, you know, playing with this guy is pretty special. You said you don't get on the court very often. You and Andre hit every ball clean as a whistle. Pretty incredible <laughs> stuff. That was really nice. But how nice is it to be playing out here on the strip? I was think, I mean, it's phenomenal. I mean, this is, I mean, earlier when we got out here and just looked around, we were just like blown away, you know, to, to saw it be out on the strip. It's the first time even for Andre to be out here playing on the strip. A, so. little, a little distracting seeing the, you know, the, the Paris the Eiffel Tower and then seeing Elton John in the background on the piano, you know, you gotta, you gotta you know, focus on the ball, not easy. Well, we love watching you two great champions play. Thanks for all. Yes, I saw you play the other day. Well, they're dealing with the distractions pretty well here at Caesars Palace. A lot of great tennis we've seen already, but we're not done yet. Men's singles coming up. Andy Roddick will be a part of that, and he'll take it on James Blake. Europe, you love a final countdown. It's what you do. If you want to save 15% or more on car insurance, you switch to Geico. It's what you do. Keep up on your favorite sport at home, at work, or on the court with Tennis Tuesday, a free digital magazine available at TennisTuesday.net. Each week, you'll get the latest news, analysis, and gossip from the Pro Tour. Plus video instruction, gear reviews, and more on any device, anywhere. Sign up now at TennisTuesday.net.
Well, before the match tonight, there was a VIP reception and auction. Some of the brilliant items that were auctioned off. Lana Kloss, World Team Tennis Commissioner, was on hand. There was a hitting session with Andre and Agassi and Stephanie Groffler was auctioned off. That one for 100,000, by the way. Oh, oh wow. The Wimbledon Championships tickets that uh, Billie Jean King has. 90 minutes with Billie Jean King, a chance to meet and spend some time with her. A signed piano bench from Sir Elton John, as well as 13 tennis items, including stuff from Pete Sampras, Andy Murray, Novak Djokovic, Bjorn Borg, and Boris Becker. And you can see the kind of money that was raised and what a fabulous, fabulous evening it was. Told you. 2016 Wimbledon's finals package went for 35,000. Signed Elton John piano bench went for 30,000. US Open finals weekend, $20,000. So bottom line, there was a lot of money raised. There was a trip to Bali, which I gotta be honest, Leaf, I almost bid on that one. It was such a great deal. And so Elton John meet and greet, 20,000. 90 minutes with Billie Jean on the center court at the US Open and the Masters hole-in-one experience. You know what's cool about the Sir Elton John meet and greet? Not only do you get a chance to meet him at a concert, he will dedicate a song to you during the show. So there was some really interesting stuff being auctioned off. Of course, Elton John is uh, such a giving guy, great guy. Thank God he loves tennis and not golf. So we're in Caesars Palace. Leif Shiras alongside Renee Stubbs as we're down to the final event. The men's singles. Andy Roddick for Team Elton. James Blake for Team Billie Jean King. So remember, the winning team, Team Elton John, if they can win the final set, they'll close it out tonight. If Team Billie Jean King and James Blake are able to win the set, well, they could possibly move ahead. It could lead possibly to overtime, depending on how things go. But essentially, Blake has to win if Billie Jean King's team is gonna have a chance. So Blake is wearing the black hat tonight. One, zero. And you can hear Billy Jean King off the bench. Great serve, James. Second serve. One off. Davis Cup teammates. Doubles partners occasionally, close friends. These guys have been through it together, but tonight I think they'll suspend their friendship for at least one. Uh, I was going to add in that great, sequence of five games. Great trash talkers on the tennis court. <laughs> that too. Oh well, it was a pretty good play because the weaker side of James Blake is the backhand, so Andy was really trying to put some pressure on it. Nine straight years in the top 10 for Andy Roddick. Amazing career. Now it's out. Three, one. No, Roddick was always so good at defending the forehand corner. He wasn't able to do it on that occasion. Three, two. Great return. He got on top of the two-hander nicely. At the U.S. Open title. At the year-end number one ranking. Game. Team Billy Jean. And of course, that all First happened game. right before Fourth Roger set. Federer became Roger Federer. Roger, and as I said before, 2003, Andy achieved so much, and then suddenly it was Roger Federer in the ascendancy. And if Roger Federer hadn't been around, you feel like Andy Roddick would have had three, maybe four Wimbledon titles. Oh, totally. I mean, you think about the amount of times that Andy lost in the finals of Wimbledon, and probably the most famous one was that 16, 14, I think, if I. I think it might have been 15, 13. In the fifth set, yeah. he did not lose serve until that last game when he was broken. Whew, One, I mean, can you imagine zero. playing five sets, not losing a serve, and then losing in that fashion? 
You were right. I was wrong. 16 14 yes. in the fifth. Amazing effort. I remember that match so well because I think I watched almost every point of that on the television. I was still in London watching that match in London and I just I couldn't believe Andy was really a back end volley away in the tiebreak from being up two sets to love in that match. And I think there's one shot in his life that he would take back. I'd say that one would be it. with a nice little chip in charge. Wow, put your hands together, folks. What a point. Now, I'm just wondering, because you can substitute in World Teams te tennis. You know, these two might start cramping the way they, they're playing the <laughs> length of points that they are. So Marty and Andy, excuse me, Andre, on the side of the court, keep stretching a little bit. Good. I think it matters when you have that serve. What an amazing serve that was. Wow. Heads up in the front row. <laughs> Don't be looking away. And if you have a drink in your hands, careful. All right, team. Billy Jean fans, put your hands together for James Blake now. 13-11 so for Elton John and Andy Roddick. Contrast the styles out here. Blake, who likes to produce a lot of flat drives. Roddick plays with more spin. Oh. Of course, Blakey building a, a house in San Diego. He's got two young daughters, so he's off and running. Uh, life after pro tennis. Two one. Yeah, hosted uh, the Anthem Live charity tennis and music event in Virginia. So active with his foundation as well. Two all. to feel good when you're going up against Roddick. <laughs> you can deliver yeah, aces of your own. He says, because the return or serve in these Very moments in the deciding point, right point here, gets folks. to choose what side of the court they want to return the ball from. And he's decided, Andy, that he wants the backhand side. Oh, going for the Geico timeout, trying to ice the server. Or is it just get a little more oxygen in the lungs? That could be exactly what, what this timeout is all about. He's been doing a fair amount of running, dealing with all this pace, and I think Billie Jean King's gonna say, hey, we need a first serve here. He said, I think I'm gonna go to the backhand. Time. Now, 
the vice the vice chair or coach Andre Agassi's gone out there to give James Blake a little advice as well. Two of the great tennis minds, really, Billie Jean King and Andre Agassi. Oh, oh he squeezed that up the line. You know, leaves you know, two games to one, point seven. Overall, 14 Watch this 11. curler down yes. the line. Yeah, Blake just wasn't able to do enough with the volley, and Roddick. Comes around the outside edge of the ball, makes it move in the air. steps up. Now the scoreline, Team Elton leading 14-11. That was a huge game. Very difficult to break uh, Mr. Andy Roddick. Well, Roddick is fast to serve 155 miles per hour when he was in his tour days. One off. Still hits a pretty high number even tonight. Yeah, it's amazing how alive his arm is still. He doesn't play that much anymore. I mean, it's difficult. One of the first things to go really is the shoulder when you stop playing a lot. That is not the case with Andy Roddick. Still possesses such power. Look out behind. <laughs> Dangerous seat in the front row. Pretty cool, too. Two one. The one thing I always admired about Andy Roddick was how he would never stop looking for ways to improve. You know, he went through a number of different coaches but distinguished ones you know Brad Gilbert Thank Jimmy Connors up. Larry Stefanke he was always looking to find ways to get better and to improve Three, one. always trying to get the most out of his game whenever he could and I think set the standard I think for you know a lot of young Americans following in his wake Get the most out of what you have. Yeah, I think he had a lot of pressure on him because when Andre retired, really all the pressure was on Andy Roddick, and he he carried that mantle incredibly well yeah. for a long, long time. Now, what was it, 2002, when Pete Sampras won his U.S. Open and retired? Suddenly, 2003, he wins the U.S. Open, and he's the guy. Yes, Andre was still around, but he was the one who'd won a recent major. Suddenly, was in the top ten. U.S. Uh, Andre Agassi did get to the U.S. Open final of 35. And, you know, An incredible Davis you know, Cup pass player as well. One, yeah, next to John McEnroe, Andy Roddick has the most men's singles wins for the U.S. Davis Cup side. He's also fully committed to Milan World Team Tennis. You can see it again tonight. 3-1 he leads. Now check out the spectacular scenes this evening at Milan World Team Tennis Smash Hits. We're at Caesars Palace, and this is what it looks like tonight. And the stars have come out in a big way. Yeah, it's incredible. I mean, every single player tonight has commented on about how unbelievable this setting is this evening. And every one of these players has played in the greatest of settings in all of tennis. So to hear them be so enthusiastic about this evening is a really wonderful thing. Yeah, Roddick is uh, taking a page from Roger Federer's book. It's uh, Saber, sneak attack by, <laughs> no, Saber, sneak attack by Andy. That's better. Oh, so I get it now. So instead of Saber, <laughs> it's Saber. But you know, if, us Australians, we kind of tend to put our A's and R's around the wrong way. Yeah. So that's why I was looking at you like, what? Oh, Saber. Got it, Andy. <laughs> Okay. Good on you. Yeah. One, two. Oh my gosh, Roddick is returning up a storm. Beautifully done.
great off back end there. Wow, what a rack back end down One, the line. Three. Threads the needle beautifully. Attacked, he's played defense so well, and now he's just a game away from closing it down. Well, this is a perfect court for someone like Andy Roddick. There's a lot of things that I, people think that he's a power player, but he's really not. He's got a huge serve, of course, and that huge kicker. But with his spin on this particular slower court, it's a bit of a nightmare for James Blake. Ball gets up high on his backhand. His favorite shot. One well, James is asking Mike to come over and play. No, he's like, Mike's like, no, man. <laughs> there you go. Maybe Mike Tyson's daughter will come out. She's come the one who plays tennis. Come on, Mike. Put your hands together. Come on. There we go. Mike's sending his daughter out. He's smart. He knows who can play tennis in the family. Here she Here comes. We there we go. We substitute coming out. <laughs> oh, she's eager. I like that. Hey, sir. He's going to beat you up. <laughs> All right, here it is. Her first big moment in the sun. Yes. Ah! Makes contact. She's ready to go. I mean, you can see that Mike Tyson jeans are really taking effect because she wants to keep playing. I love it. Footwork is good. She's ready to go. She wants to play all night. There we go. Love it. Good job. All right. She got a good forehand in. And Mike Tyson, talk about a proud father. in unbelievable shape still, isn't he? Oh my gosh. Powerhouse. I wouldn't want to be you right now. One zero. mind he's been iced it's interesting when I played team tennis for the Los Angeles strings Jeannie Buss was our manager and Mike Tyson would come to the matches and he came down the locker room and said hello to everyone and very gracious that was in the height of his power he's a bit fear fearsome to see this guy so, so strong you know what? Jeannie Buss of course daughter to great Laker the owner of the Lakers just inducted into the Southern California Tennis Hall of Fame. Three, one, big ace. Boy, Roddick is in great form tonight. All right, folks, this is match point right here. And he's here. got the bragging rights on his buddy James Blake tonight. And that's uh, Who are you supporting? Andy so Roddick? big. Who are you supporting? And the rubber James band Blake? has slipped off of his racket. You know where did he learn that? Andre Agassi. Andre Agassi is exactly right. Andre used to tie the rubber band with a string dampener. Oh, oh that's too good. A wonderful set of tennis from Andy Roddick. Over his good buddy James Blake. Pretty good playing from 
new papa riding. 12 days ago, he became a father to Hank. We want to say hi to Brooklyn if she's at home. I guess the big news tonight, though, as we listen to uh, Elton John, is the fact that he goes ahead now 12-11 in the head-to-head -head matchups against his friend Billie Jean King. You know, one of the things that we hear on the video boards as we go to break is an interview with Elton and Billy together, and they said that we're a formidable mixed doubles pair. And as long as we're alive, we're going to stay that way. And again tonight, they proved with $750,000 raised here for the Elton John AIDS Foundation, another amazing night in the history of this great evening. Well, down courtside, Mark Knowles is with Andy Roddick. Well, guys, I'm with the closer, Andy Roddick, always someone known as one of the greatest closers. Once you got that early break, you just rode it all the way to the sun sunset. Well, I'm glad I served well because I have little else these days. Uh, it was fun. You know, it's so cool there. We, we talked earlier, but the setting here on the Las Vegas Strip and Andre's backyard, uh, Elton's backyard here at Caesars Palace where he plays, uh, I had a blast. It seemed like your old buddy James Blake tried to summon the champ there to kind of throw you off. Did you get a little scared? Well, and then we ended up with uh, Iron Mike's daughter out there. I know if I beat her at a point, I got trouble coming my way, but uh, it was nice. And, uh, you know, I, I've met Tyson a couple times, and you couldn't meet a nicer guy. I mean, everyone kind of expects Big Bag Mike, but he, he's so sweet, and to see him with his kids here tonight is, uh, is a real cool thing. Well, always great to see that incredible arm in action. Thanks for everything, Andy. Thanks, Nolte. Back to you guys. He does have a live arm. He used it so well. Here's what it looked like tonight. Smash hits in Vegas. Back with more in a moment. Team Elton John victorious tonight over Team Billie Jean King 17-11. Here at Caesars Palace in Vegas, Mark Knowles is courtside with a very special guest. Well, Billie Jean, probably not the result you would have wanted on the court, but once again, such a successful event, raising over $400,000 on the Strip in Vegas. Incredible stuff. It was terrific, and uh, we actually made over a million, so everyone's happy, and uh, we left money locally, too, for Las Vegas and HIV AIDS, and uh, it's always great for all the players to get together. It's like a reunion, and it's so nice to see everybody, and everybody is so happy to see each other, and it's great. The crowds were we're packed tonight. We're actually we had to turn people away. We felt bad. So maybe we'll have to come back because I love being here at Caesars and Milan's happy. We're all happy. The deco has been good to us. So uh, we're, we're lucky and the players, you know, they come for nothing every year. They're amazing. And the tennis tonight, I thought Agassi, oh my God, he's out of his mind. He's unbelievable. Uh, so we're just fortunate. I'm down by one now. I just thought of the, no. How are you going to deal with that for a full year? I don't know. I have to live with Elton now for a full year. He's going to remind me all the time. Well, Billie Jean, we're so thankful for everything that you do, not only for this foundation, but also for society and the game of tennis. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot, Mark. Back to you guys. Thank you, everyone. Thank all right. Thanks, Mark. And thank you, Billie Jean. That's what it looks like. Team Elton John winning three of the four events tonight. We'll come back to Vegas in just a moment. At Milan, we believe that if you are one, then you are also seven billion. For although life's journey is yours alone, we all share one wish, that however challenging life may be, our legs stay steady, our minds sharp, and our vision clear, so that we can carry ourselves where our dreams take us. For a life should not be determined by poor health or governed solely by fate. If we are one, we are seven billion. At Milan, we make over 1,400 quality medicines globally. It's our mission to give all seven billion people in the world access to the health care they deserve. And we're getting there, one person at a time. Better health for a better world. Milan. Milan World Team Tennis Smash Hits has been brought to you by GEICO. At GEICO, you have a choice of ways you can save on car insurance. Call 1-800-947-AUTO, go online to GEICO.com, or stop by the GEICO office nearest you.
by DecoTurf, official tennis court surface of World Team Tennis and the official surface of the U.S. Open since 1978. By Caesars. And by Milan, seeing is believing. Well, back at Caesars Palace and a chance to just to think back on this remarkable evening, Renee. I mean, what stood out to you as, as memorable? Oh, just everything. I mean, the, the, the whole look of here at Caesars Palace is the most amazing atmosphere I've actually ever been to at a tennis event on the strip of Las Vegas. And again, Milan World Team Tennis brings Elton John AIDS Foundation so much money raised for the local community here in Las Vegas, and it was a pleasure to be here. Yeah, Smash Hits was a smashing success in Las Vegas. Tennis was played and played well. Money was raised for charity and good money. And it was evening to remember. Thank you, Las Vegas. Thank you, Billie Jean King, and thank you, Elton John. For all of us, for Mark Knowles, Renee Stubbs, I'm Lee Shira saying so long from WTT Smash Hits here in Las Vegas at Caesars Palace. Hundred and thirty yards now. Bill's got a very tough lie here. Looks like we have some sort of sea monster in the water hazard here. I believe that's a Kraken, Bruce. It looks like he's going to go with the 9-iron. That may not be enough club. Well, he's definitely going to lose a stroke on this hole. If you're a golf commentator, you whisper. It's what you do. If you want to save 15% or more on car insurance, you switch to GEICO. It's what you do. This golf course is electric. For billions of years, I have been lying in the dark, waiting for this moment. Time has forged my character to be strong and pure. While I waited to be discovered and selected amongst hundreds, me and me alone. Finally, my true beauty has been brought to light. And after a long journey, I am here to light up her smile forever. Forever Mark, a diamond is forever. Find your design at forevermark.com.